Well, I'm gonna give you some real talk. Okay. Okay, I'm not afraid. Yeah, sure, I'm fine. My ass is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a real talk about reruns. Yeah, it's it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I know it's painful to wait for reruns, but it's okay to wait for reruns because when you get the character, uh, you won't be able to max the character anyway, and you will still have crappy characters anyway, and you will you won't be able to get his signature weapon anyway. So if you wait for the character rerun, you can save to get the character guaranteed, and maybe also save to get the weapon guaranteed. Maybe like more than six months, but or maybe just wait until uh, just get the character guaranteed, or maybe one constellation. Just maybe just the C zero character. But if you wait for the rerun, by the time the rerun comes, you will already have good artifacts. So it takes for my for my job, It took me a year. So I waited for every for I got him when he first dropped, but I waited for his rerun to get the Jade Spear, and it took me until his rerun. To get a good build for Xiao, it took me a year to get the anim an animal goblet. It took me a year to get the best artifacts for Xiao. So, yeah, it's, waiting for the rerun is good timing anyway. Because it takes that long, even for Zhao, Zhao's case. So, I mean, it takes a, yeah, for example, it takes one year to build a good character. Uh, yeah, because if you don't press the refresh, you're free to play. Or like me, I don't read in the refresh, so it takes it took me a year to build my Zhao. Yeah, and also because you have other characters to farm for, so yeah, so it takes a year. Well, if you're unlucky, it takes even more.